the country's leading wind power company Sujlon Energy has released the results of quarter 2. The company's numbers have been excellent in such a situation. Will this growth momentum continue further? Is the company completely debt free? And what is the special message of the company for the investors to the answer? All the questions we have Sujlon CFO Mr. Himanshu Modi with us. Welcome to Business Studio Television, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's start the question answer series. Uh, my first question is, sir, uh, on year to year basis, if we talk about the company's profit, they have almost doubled. There has, uh, there has also been an increase of 32% in EBITDA. What are the factors supporting these numbers? So, uh, a few factors, Harsh. Essentially, you know, to start with, uh, the company has become debt free completely uh, on the back of a successful QIP that we did in August. Uh, as a result of which, uh, you know, finance cost has uh, drastically come down and uh, uh, directionally going forward uh, now, you know, that will be very minimal uh, finance costs in the company. Uh, so that has, of course, helped uh, translate into the uh, profitable bottom line, the net profit line. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, now that uh, the debt issues are behind, uh, the pure focus of the company is in delivering uh, performance uh, by managing costs, keeping costs on the check and improving on margins. Uh, so those results uh, are showing up uh, in the results that we declared. Uh, okay, sir. I would like to discuss the company's order in some details. How many orders does the company have so far? How many are in the pipeline? And third one, how many are being executed? So currently we have about uh, 1.6 gigawatts of confirmed order book, uh, which we are uh, scheduled to deliver over the next few quarters. Uh, of course. Uh, the looking very uh, attractive um, you know we will be selective about the orders that we take uh, which need to be you know profitable and commensurate with our uh, margin profile uh, in terms of the deliveries so far in the first half of this year we've done about um, 267 megawatts of uh, deliveries uh, in the first half this year. okay uh, there is always a discussion in the markets regarding your debt. Please tell our viewers whether your entire QIP process was successful and now are you are totally debt free? Yes, uh, so you know the QIP in August was a resounding success. Uh, you know we raised about two thousand crores uh, and very good institutional marquee names uh, supported the QIP issue. Uh, as a result of which we were able to repay our entire debt. Uh, and uh, as we speak today, uh, 30th September, on a cash basis, we are sitting on about uh, six, uh, net cash is about 600 crores of real Okay, sir. At present, the promoters holding in the company is 13.29%. Is the company considering increase it further? So, look, as CFO of the company, I cannot comment on what the promoters' plans are or thought is, but uh, yes, it's a statement of fact that uh, the promoters own about 13.3%. Okay, sir. So, what are the, your expectations in the second half the, of this financial year? Our focus is very clear, Dash. Uh, we will keep delivering on the orders. As I said, about uh, 1600 megawatts is uh, confirmed orders available with us. Uh, so, our focus not only for the second half this year, but for the next few quarters um, is and continue to will be to, uh, you know, deliver on these orders in a timely and profitable manner. And, uh, secure more and more orders uh, as we keep churning out the existing order. Okay. Any new development are taking place in the company which can be understood from the investor's point of view? New deals, acquisitions? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, of course, uh, once we, as a company, any company, we keeping our eyes and ears open, but uh, our focus over the next few quarters is completely with blinkers on to execute the order. Okay, sir. My last question is, uh, what is your message to all your investors and the shareholders? Uh, no particular message. I mean, you know, thank you to all the shareholders and investors for, you know, deposing the confidence in the company. Um, you know, we've done a couple of equity raises in the last one year, uh, starting with the rights uh, in September, October last year, followed with uh, QIP in August this year. Um, and both the issuances met with uh, great success. Uh, so as management of the company, on behalf of the team, uh, we really thank the shareholders for the support shown by them in the company. And uh, it's our job as custodians to deliver uh, to the best of our Okay. Well, Mr. Modi, thank you very much for joining Business Studio Television. And once again, many congratulations for your good numbers. Thank you so much. Thank you.
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.